It's nearing the end of another long week of idiocy, which means I've selected my losers of the week. First up is our first lady, Jill Biden. I don't know if she just had a real hankering for Mexican food or what, but perhaps a speech to the nation's largest Hispanic civil rights organization wasn't the place to satisfy that appetite. But we can't get those things on our own. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community, as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio, <laughs> is your strength. It still stuns me that Dr. Jill Biden, a supposed educator of minds, cannot pronounce bodega. I'm about as white as it gets. I only speak English. We have zero bodegas in my South Dakota hometown, but yet even I can pronounce freaking bodega. Now, look, I don't think Jill meant it as racist, insensitive, or in a derogatory way, but the fact that she said it, even if it was written for her, is about as tone deaf as it comes. And given who she's married to, that's a high or rather a low bar. But the internet had a field day with it, though. From Jill's breakfast tacos to Hunter's CNX Tuesday rage text, I'd like to be a fly in the wall at the next Brandon family Thanksgiving. P.S. I asked my Cuban-American fiancé which variety of breakfast taco he'd like to be identified as, and he's still getting back to me on it, so stay tuned. But meantime, my next loser of the week is Starbucks. Starbucks is reportedly closing its doors in 16 locations due to unsafe conditions for its workers and patrons. Want to guess where? Seattle, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, D.C., and Portland. Knock me over with a feather. I don't wonder why. I know it's because large swaths of these cities are lawless, dangerous, and serve as outdoor hotel accommodations for an increasingly drugged out and violent homeless population. But Starbucks execs aren't going to come out and say that. Instead, their senior VPs of operations sent out a memo citing personal safety, racism, lack of access to health care, a growing mental health crisis, rising drug use, and more as the reason certain stores are closing up shop. Racism and a lack of access to health care. Yeah, pretty sure racism or restricted abortions aren't what are making your stores unsafe, Starbucks. Call it like it is and wake up and smell the coffee. But speaking of smells and the homeless, check this out. Police in, where else, California, discovered a homeless encampment underground bunker full of stolen goods, including power tools, construction equipment, shotguns, and boxes of ammo. The bunker, reportedly built and operated by homeless people, is built into the side of a creek and is equipped with electricity likely plugged into someone else's power source. Imagine if these homeless individuals dedicated as much energy into working and being productive members of society as they did stealing equipment and building a bunker like that one. But the Golden State is really the loser in this situation. California Democrats chirp on and on about guns and red flag laws and background checks, and yet they can't even keep them out of the hands of homeless individuals who steal them and proceed to hide them in bunkers on the side of creek beds. Lord Almighty, the irony is thick, and those are my losers of the week.